Hi everyone, my name is Aparna Bhatia and this week's tech tip is about how to split walls using NWF and having a continuous stud spacing along the length of the wall. So let's get started. Over here we have a continuous wall panel which is 55 feet in length. We would like to split this up into shorter 11 foot panels so that we could manufacture them and get them delivered to site easily. To do this, we'll go to the MWF tab, click on markers, click on split by rule. And within split by rule uh, dialog box, we can specify the minimum panel length, the maximum panel length, and our opening tolerances. In our case, we'll just leave the minimum panel length to be two feet. And for the maximum panel length, we do know it is 11 feet. And for the opening tolerances over here, since we don't have any openings as part of this wall panel, we're just going to ignore that dimension. We do have the option to select a split marker. So NWF gives you an out of the box uh, split marker. And what that does is it takes the end stud of panel one and the start stud of panel two and has them be back to back and be flush. So if you do choose that, uh, then it will be a, there will be a zero gap. And if you would like to have a gap in between your different panels, um, you could set up a custom marker and add that gap in, whether it is half an inch or an inch or a quarter of an inch, you do have that option uh, to automate that process. All right, so we can uh, leave that to be uh, our default for this tech tip. And we have another option here to set the direction of the panel. So what, what this says is it, the start point is left when you're looking from the inside. These two arrows here specify this is the exterior of the wall. And if we're looking from the interior side of the wall at the panel, our start point is at the left side. So this is where it will start placing our maximum length uh, markers um, using this as a start point. So let's confirm and check out what it does. So over here, we can see that it has created these little markers. But if I zoom in a little further, it seems like they're a little offset from the perpendicular wall. And we want our wall splits to be centered to the perpendicular wall. So let's do that. So I can just use the um, align command in Revit. That would be AL. And I'll select the center line of the wall and the center line of the marker so I can align them. And now that I have that done, I can hit escape and now we can start creating this panel. So we can click on this wall, we can click on um, MWF and hit the create button. So when we hit the create button, we will first select our template and then we'll make modifications. So I'm going to go to project, select light gauge and set that as active and hit the close button. Now what we're going to do is set up our start reference to be our wall because we want the stud, stud spacing to be considered using the wall and not the panel. So we'll set our start reference to be the wall and we'll hit create. And what this does uh, is this is what will get you your continuous stud spacing along the length of the wall and it will not consider the panel. All right, so now let's go double check our work. So we will use the dimension tool in Revit or the DI shortcut. And we will just uh, quickly dimension these studs. So first I will dimension our typical stud spacing just to check what it is. So that's one foot four. And if I continue this dimension string to go to the next stud in the panel beside it and double check that dimension, it should be the typical spacing. All right, so that's it for this week's tech tip. Hope you have a great day. Bye.